And welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and let's talk about Unfinity. So for those who don't know, Unfinity is a set that is going to eventually come out. It is an unset, as the name does suggest. And if there's anyone out there who doesn't know, there was unsets that have been coming out every couple of years. They are silver bordered, or at least they used to be silver bordered, which is one of the reasons why I'm talking about this, which means, of course, they're not tournament legal. You can't really play them in any formats. You just play them with themselves, right? If you're going to play a silver bordered game, everything in your deck would be silver bordered and all that good stuff i've never actually played one myself i'm sure it's lots of fun some of these cards are super goofy and interesting it's just something wizard of the coast decided to do a long time ago and enough people seem to like it that they kept on doing it but why am i talking about an unset what the heck does that got to do with commander well they decided to switch it up and this new unset is not going to be silver bordered it's going to be black bordered and there's a couple significant things to talk about here now the first thing is i don't like this i'll just be straight up with you i don't like the fact that these are not silver bordered cards because now you can't talk about silver bordered cards anymore right and whenever you refer to silver bordered cards you're going to refer to all the other silver bordered cards but then you're also going to sort of be referring to these cards as well but they're not silver bordered even though they fit with those other cards and it just really complicates things and confuses things it made it a lot easier just to be able to refer to the unsets or some of the other cards as well by the way there's other cards that aren't unsets that are silver bordered just to include them all as one as being silver bordered cards we can't do that anymore of course, silver border cards are not legal in the commander format, but some of the new cards from this Unfinity set will be, and I think obviously that is why they're doing this. They're always going after the commander players to try to get them to buy sets, because of course, almost every set is going to be available for commander players to use in the format, so they're going to want to run out and buy the cards, and I think it's fairly apparent that the reason why they've switched it up here is because they want to make some of these cards, not all, but some of these cards available for commander players so that they will be tempted to go out and buy cards from this set this set has been slowly leaked and spoiled since forever i think december maybe of last year is when some of these cards first came out and a lot of people got excited about the card saw in half two and a black instant destroy target creature if that creature dies this way its controller creates two tokens that are copies of that creature except their base power is half that creature's power and their base toughness is half that creature's toughness round up each time now this is a great card you can use it in a lot of different ways it is destroying a creature which is interesting so you actually can use this as removal although it's not a great option more likely you're going to use it on your own creatures so that you can create token copies it has a great effect but also it is a token copy creation in black which you don't ever see really now why were people getting excited by this card even though it is from an unset well obviously as you can see it's black bordered but also it is actually legal in the commander format because again we have sort of wizards of the coast circumventing the rules of commander i don't love that either wizards of the coast has decided that some of the cards from this set will be commander legal and you will know that by the hologram on the bottom okay so if you look at saw in half it just has that regular old hologram on the bottom right just like you would expect but if you look at a card like killer cosplay that has as a acorn shaped hologram on the bottom that's not legal right so we're not deciphering whether something is legal in commander by the border anymore again just causing more confusion i think we are now deciding it based on that little hologram at the bottom so if there is an acorn hologram that means it's not commander legal if there is just a regular old hologram it is apparently legal in the commander format and that's why i'm talking about this because i think a lot of commander players who aren't maybe paying attention to this and i expect that there's a bunch that aren't would probably not know this and they would start seeing some of these uncards when this set eventually comes out in commander games and there might be some misconceptions and even some arguments at the table that it's not legal etc etc this is how things are going to play out so it is likely that you're going to see these cards in the format now of course it always is play group specific you can allow your opponents to play these if you want like angelic herald very interesting card i love the name it is actually kind of funny i always love 
reading these cards I think is very humorous. I would never actually play with them. I think it's funny to look at them though. This guy has the acorn hologram, so it's not commander legal. It is a legendary creature though. So if you talk to your play group, I suppose, you know, they could say, sure, you can play this guy if you want to. That's always the case in the commander format. And it's one of the great things about the commander format. I mean, for me personally, I would absolutely not want to play with someone who had an Angela Carroll deck. That's just me. More importantly though, there are commanders that are actually commander legal, like Magar of the Magic Strings. And that's one I'm actually going to get into here in this video. One black and a red legendary creature, Minotaur Performer, 3-3. Three, three. Pay one black and a red. Note the name of target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard and put it onto the battlefield face down. It's a 3-3 three, three creature with whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may create a copy of that card with the noted name. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. And if this creature would leave the battlefield exile instead of putting it anywhere else. This is actually a really good commander with a really interesting ability. And as you can see, it has that normal hologram at the bottom. So this is going to be a commander legal card as far as I know. So you can actually build your deck around this guy. And I'm sure there are people that will. The interesting thing here is other than the goofy picture and maybe the goofy name and the fact that it is a performer creature type, which of course we've never had in the game before everything about this card really isn't very un at all. You know, if you change the name and maybe the creature type and the picture, you could very easily see this card in a normal commander set and nobody would think anything of it. It's a little weird, the note the name thing that you don't see very often, but there are cards even recently where they've done the whole noting the name of things or noting the amount or whatever. Those cards do exist. So that's not out of the ordinary at all. So really nothing about this is doing anything particular goofy or weird it's actually a really good ability that you could definitely build around no question i mean this ability is just one black and a red there's no tap or nothing so you can do this several times in a turn i like that it's an instant and sorcery theme not in is it colors it's in rakdos colors so you're a little bit off color here so you want instance and sorcery cards in your graveyard that you're then going to put in play face down so they're kind of kind of going to be morph creatures i mean obviously they don't have morph right you're going to attack with that three three creature you might want to put some evasion stuff in there when it deals combat damage to a player you create a copy of that card so you're going to be casting the instant or sorcery right you're going to be casting the face down part and you're not paying the mana cost which of course is fantastic so if you can get some really powerful stuff here you're probably going to want to do a whole bunch of drawing and discarding here faithless looting and all that good stuff throw that rise of the dark realms in your graveyard and then for three mana you can play it face down as a three three creature and if you can get in for damage right it has to be that card that three three creature that is a face down rise of the dark realms get in for damage with it now you can cast it without paying its mana cost that's pretty darn good right this doesn't seem like an uncard to me which is why i'm talking about it this just seems like a really good commander with a really powerful ability that is absolutely very build aroundable and i think a lot of people are going to go after this guy it will be interesting to see how this plays out right like how many people are actually going to be going after these cards how many people are going to be building magar decks how many people are going to be using saw in half Typically, they don't print an absolute ton of the unsets. Are they going to do it more here because these cards are commander legal? That might be interesting to see. Obviously, if they don't print a ton of cards, they're going to cost a whole lot more. And if a lot of people want to be using those cards, that's going to affect the price a lot. It's hard to tell. How is this going to play out? We'll see. But I just thought I would make a quick video about this so that when this set comes out, people are not caught off guard by the fact that this is actually an unset, even though it's not silver bordered. And some of these cards, only some of them, are actually commander legal. It's confusing. I don't particularly love it, but I definitely have to cover it because it affects the commander format. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that actually don't even know that this stuff exists. So let me know what you think of this new Unfinity set, how it's going to affect things. If you're actually going to play some of these cards, let me know in the comments below. But that is it for today. And thanks for tuning in.